So this is the uh, PowerBook um, 230 and also the dual dock that I have put for sale on eBay. So this is the notebook and this is the dock of course and uh, the monitor, the keyboard and the mouse and an external CD-ROM, SCSI CD-ROM. It's all included in this cell. So let me show you how this goes. So if you never saw like um, a dual dock in action, it's very interesting. So to eject the notebook that is inside, you just have to click on the button. It goes out just like a VCR cassette, if you remember that. So to show you the notebook working. So I have uh, basically the power cable is here. It's just not long enough. So let me actually put that on the on the floor here <clears throat> it's very hard to do that with only one hand so let's connect the power cable and let's open it up and let's power it up so the notebook itself just a little bit about it while it's putting up it's in very good condition. I have repaired the whole keyboard, so the membrane and everything that was um, giving some uh, bad contact, so some keys were not registering. And also, like I have exchanged some of the uh, keycaps here. So I had some spares and I have replaced the most uh, worn out ones. And uh, it looks really amazing. Like uh, it's all very clean and uh, so it's working great. And the screen is also very good, in very good shape. I have uh, I have replaced uh, some of the capacitors on the screen as well. And uh, so basically this is a, a ready to use uh, classic Mac notebook. So it's running Mac OS 7.5.5, if I'm not mistaken. It has about uh, eight megabytes of RAM and 80 megabytes of uh, hard, drive, uh, hard drive. It's a SCSI hard drive, the original one that is still in there. I didn't replace it because it's in, in actually very good shape. I have run a lot of tests and uh, all of them came out okay. So this, uh, I imagine this hard drive should still like uh, be good for maybe like, uh, I don't know, another couple of years or so, depending on the usage. Eventually well, you might want to replace it with um, those uh, SCSI 2SD cards, it's very easy to replace. I have done it on uh, several different uh, notebooks that I have and it works just great. So this is basically the notebook booting up. You can of course control like brightness and contrast using the uh, buttons here. It still works of course, just fine. So a little more contrast, contrast for example. And uh, as you can see, the screen is great. Uh, doesn't have any visual uh, visually that that pixels or anything so everything just works so I have installed the uh, Claris works in this uh, on this notebook and actually going to show that on the CRT later on so it's just uh, so you know the information about the Mac itself so it's being misplaced here because it was using a higher resolution using the CRT that's why so here you have basically like the total memory, which is eight mix, and uh, the system is using about half of it. So it gives you like another half for you to use with uh, whatever software you want to run. The hard drive itself, it has um, basically 80, me 80 megabytes of uh, capacity and uh, you have about a quarter of it uh, free for use. And this of course with Clarisworks installed. So if you don't want to use Clarisworks, you can delete it and you have more than half of the hard drive free for you to install games or whatever it is that you want to install it. So let me just shut it down. Oh yes, the keyboard. So let's see the keyboard here, notepad. So this is what I did before to actually, so just to show you like the register so as you can see, all the keys are pretty much working very responsive without any problems whatsoever, right? So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. So let me just quit. 
out of it and let's shut it down done so let's close the lid oh, by the way all the the elements the components are in good shape as you can see no marks I have of course removed the uh, the rubbers right because they were disintegrating basically and uh, you don't need them anyways and uh, on the back here so let me just unplug it uh, by the way the the power supply is also going along with, with the cell so on the back here you have um, so let me put it here so you have the door for the the docking station is uh, also working just as expected so you can close the door you can open it up and uh, the feet are also fine both right so I'm not going to show this but uh, trust me it's all working fine you can also see the pictures later on so this is the back or the bottom better put the battery of course has been removed so there is no leakage or anything like it so let's uh, let's put this guy into the dock there you go just press it and the dock pulls it and it automatically powers it up so let me turn on the CD as well So that's the monitor basically as you can see the brightness very good you can see the scan lines here it's just because the camera is not in sync with the frequency that the monitor is using for you know like scanning but uh, of course your eyes don't see what you're seeing on the camera here it's actually very nice very sharp and very bright so I'm not going to wait for the process to boot up let me just pause it and when it finishes up we resume it Okay, so finished booting and uh, scan lines are gone because apparently the phone has synced up. If I move, you can actually see it, you see? But uh, it's much better now for whatever reason that is. Um, so uh, just to show you like uh, the CD-ROM working. So I'm going to pop up like this Mac OS 8 CD-ROM that I have uh, here. And we should be seeing it on oh, those are Again, like the scan lines back. Let's see if I can do a trick here to make them go away. All right, it's up to the cell phone, basically. So there you go. That's basically the installation for Mac OS 8. Of course, it's not supported on this platform, but it's just to show you, okay? So let's eject the CD. And that's pretty much it. So uh, the general aspect of everything is great, like the keyboard, you can actually see that in between it has been throw out cleaned, like I, I basically disassembled everything, I cleaned everything up, so there is no nothing inside. Uh, the mouse, the same thing, like uh, it's very, very clean. And uh, well, this, uh, this is an external case and inside you have basically like a 300i Apple CD player. and. Um, so this was uh, meant to be an internal uh, desktop Apple CD and I have mounted in an external case. This is of course not an uh, original um, Apple external case, but it's very beautiful. As you can see, this is translucent plastic. So it looks like it's metal, but it's actually plastic here and the metal is inside. So it's very nice case and uh, it works just fine as you can see. Uh, the only thing that I couldn't get it to work is the, the SCSI selector here on the back. The cables are all inside, it's just that I don't know how to plug them in correctly into the 300i CD, that's all. And also I couldn't get it to work the, the activity LED here. So when the CD is actually doing something you don't see anything flashing, let's put it like that. It just works. Uh, so SCSI is actually set for SCSI 2 using the jumpers inside of the CD. Uh, if you want to, you know, like uh, venture yourself trying to connect the cable so that you can use the selector here, you can do it. You just have to know what you are doing, that's all. So I, I, I really didn't bother. Uh, the cable, the SCSI cable that goes to the, uh, the dock, this is included with the cell. Everything that you see here is included. So, and um, what I wanted to show you is this uh, on the back here, on the dock. 
basically I have added uh, this interface here so this is an Ethernet interface and uh, basically here you have an RJ45 where my finger is which means you can basically plug a regular Ethernet cable and connect this little guy to your network for file exchanging or even like uh, internet navigation if you will not venture to do so. Uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to show. Like the overall condition is really good. Like as you can see, like it's not too yellow. Uh, I have uh, cleaned it up like very well. The monitor itself has been recapped, so it's in great shape. And uh, and same does for the for the dock. So I have uh, basically cleaned everything inside of the dock, and it's really good. Very great shape ever, overall. So again, it's a very hard to find machine in such a great condition and could be yours so be away and good luck bye